A new solar fuel cell machine has the ability to separate hydrogen. The Waldeck Hydroelectric Station gains extra watts. An electric bus is picking up passengers in Seoul, South Korea. This is your Daily Energy Report. Hello and thanks for joining us today. I'm Ben Lack, Chief Conversationalist, and I'm here to bring you the latest daily energy news for Tuesday, December the 28th. Researchers in the U.S. and Switzerland have developed a prototype using a quartz window to concentrate sunlight. The metal oxide will then heat up and release oxygen. If water is pumped into the device and comes into contact with ceria, then the oxide will strip the oxygen from the water and the remaining hydrogen can be used to fuel hydrogen fuel cells in cars. Currently, this prototype needs refinement because the fuel harnesses less than 1% of the solar energy the vessel takes in, since much of the energy is lost through heat loss. However, with more research will come greater efficiency. Waldeck, a pumped storage hydroelectric station in central Germany, is going to gain a boost in its megawatt capacity. EON has plans to build a 300 megawatt plant adjacent to the Waldeck facility in 2012. EON is one of Europe's largest hydro storage operators with 212 facilities sprawled across four countries. The total capacity is 6.2 gigawatts. The new plant, like its neighbor Waldeck 2, will have an underground turbine room. The plant is scheduled to reach commercial operation in 2016. Full-sized electric buses can now be seen driving routes in Seoul, South Korea. The Seoul Metropolitan Government has said that it's begun commercial operation of the green buses on the Mount Namsan circular routes since December the 21st. These are the world's first sized electric buses that are in commercial operation. The technology has come from Hyundai Heavy Industries and Hankook Fiber, which have worked on the technology for the past one and a half years. The vehicles can go up to 83 kilometers on a single charge and be charged in less than 30 minutes. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out your latest daily energy report. Have a great day.